wrist better position or wrist better resting position. The position, as you can see, is laying on your back on a firm surface. It doesn't have to be hard. It can be a carpet or a yoga mat underneath you, something like that. Beds are usually too soft. We want a relatively firm surface. There's good support underneath the back of your head. Here we have a little wrist bed of support, or it can be a couple of paperback books to support the back of your head. And your knees are up. Having your knees up for some people is easy and comfortable, and for others you may like to let your knees rest together. You don't want to be having to hold them with, with uh, effort. Or you could perhaps put a bolster underneath your knees. As simple as it may seem, resting like this has been shown to generate an increase in the length of the spine. In fact, your spine is a little longer each time you spend some time, 15 to 20 minutes, resting on a firm surface like this. The uh, understanding is that that happens as a result of an expansion in the intervertebral discs between the vertebrae of the spine. And it's associated with the relief of pressure in your back and in your neck. The support underneath the back of your head is there to just to bring your face level. It's uh, intended to prevent your head from falling backwards. So you just need sufficient support behind the back of your head so that your face is relatively level. Uh, we don't want so much so that you end up with your chin chucked in like that, that's too much. Just an easy support so that your face is relatively level. In mechanical or uh, balancing terms, essentially your skull is coming up over the top of your spine, like a little nod or tilt forwards with the support in place.